Here, take a nice drink. Go on, swallow it all down. It's fresh. After having exhausted every anime con in New Jersey, I looked eastwards from the western banks of the Hudson River to the mystical lands beyond Queens County, and what I found was an anime convention called Tropicon. Being from Jersey, I have to cross two bridges to get into Long Island, which is the same thing as traveling abroad. That is to say, it's usually a monumental undertaking. However, I received the good news from Moelgo. It said the Thou shalt make thine anime con videos and cease touching grass. And so, passport in hand, I drove across the international date line all the way out to Hapag. If that's not how you pronounce it, then tough toffee. Tropicon is on its fifth year and boasts the largest cosplay competition in Long Island. It's held at the Long Island Hyatt Regency, which is a hotel too expensive for my blood, but that's besides the point. The artists were all mixed in with the dealers, so it was a little difficult finding what I was looking for, especially with all the Funko Pops. So many Funkos. But luckily there was more than enough time to peruse at my leisure and I was able to see everything that I wanted to see. Unlike the other cons I've been to so far, this convention was less focused on anime and more varied. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, what other con lets you shoot at stormtroopers? There were many panels throughout the day, from how to take care of your wig, to why Ghostbusters is the best series ever, to how to ensure that you don't end friendships over a bad round of D&D. I got to meet Matt Hill, the voice of Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Apparently he's never heard of the purgatory theory before, though I doubt no one has ever asked him about it. There was also a dance performance by Winds of the Moon. Here's one of them cosplaying as Alice from Madness Returns. Also, I think I've been watching too much Yuna and Ami because my tummy hurt the night before, so I ended up skipping breakfast. They had food for sale at Tropicon, but sadly it was next to the restroom, which doesn't exactly inspire a healthy appetite. The restroom smelled horrendous, probably worse than the ones at Castle Point Anime. Speaking of smell, after about an hour the hotel started to get that anime con stench, so I dipped outside a few times. But I'd always find myself stepping in front of some rando dancing for Tok Tok. There was a board games room too, but I didn't partake in the fun. One of these days I should. Maybe if I'm going with some friends, we can play a game to pass the time. When I'm alone, I just pass the time by meditating, I, I think. Overall, it was a decent convention with a nice vibe, but it's one that I shan't be returning to, cause hell if I'm crossing the international date line twice. If you live on Long Island, I would recommend going at least once. It's a high trust area, the staff are very friendly, and you're not treated like cattle. And for all the New Jersey bros, um, I, I hear DerpyCon's coming up soon.